this is Lady B, the Queen of Wellness. I come before you once again with open arms as we do what we do. The meditation, two seconds, and we're going to raise our arms in mid-air. Breathing in with our eyes closed. Holding it in for a minute. Breathe out. Bring your arms down to midair, side to side, and bring it back up. Hold it for a minute, your breath. Bring it out, the air, and let your arms down. Felt good, huh? This session, the title of it is... The rushing wind and the abundance of rush, it stops, but it keeps flowing like the butterflies, seeking no rush. I dare not, not to die. And what is it worth when I move in motion what is it always telling the butterfly it moves in ways of the vibration taking you in a real span moving in the vibe of the vibration in the cosmos and the beautiful energy colors of life moving in flight and now do you know swirling Getting the motion where it is needed to be. You know that you want to aim high, not where you used to be. The same routine has been just taking you in circles, and you, you sat and you wondered. Why I am not elevating more higher than I have been. And so you see, your eyes been closed. You've been in a shadow of a blistering of air. You keep going back and you keep saying, no more but what you do you running back and forth rushing but the butterfly it never rush it takes its time it knows where it's going and its direction and it sees there is a vision that flows. The butterfly as it's moving, its wings and mid-air. It sees everything around them before they started out on the runway of a rush. Wings fly. Wings are not always getting high. Wings are flying in sight. Rate, rate. They are rating high in numbers as plaque rise. The rush. The rush. Let the butterflies 
get you into a setting, into the cosmos. You know where you really want to go. Do not slow down. You don't have to in your motion because you have a sight more than a caution, a flotion. No social to socialize, but the butterfly, they always, they always in flight. They always searching for things that they already know that they wanted before they started their sight. No rushing, no brushing, not ever having always to brush off even those things that gets on them. Because the rush, they slow down when they decide to be into that place they want to be. They go into the water, they go into the trees, and they go into the dirt, and all that is needed to be. And that's how they get their nature to move upon and beyond the earth of what they see. You see, they can fly even high, more than you even know, almost going through the clouds and the sunny side. Don't rush, they say. I don't have to rush, because I know before I started my motion, I am the colorful, the colorful butterfly. I have a way, I have a way that I start my day off and I brush every, every wing that is ready to move, to get me started. I brush, I don't brush. I am not in a rush because I am knowing before I get started in my days, I took a stand and I seen what was in demand. I seen that this was a part of the process before I started. So you see, we as the butterflies and color, we know how to do what we have to do. People watch us. They see us and they even try to grab us, to gravitate to us. But oh no, no, no. We are the butterflies. And there is only one that is not like us. And it's the other specimens of insects that tries to imitate us as we grind, as they even try to fry us sources of different flavors and that's what they say but it's only one bird because we are the colorful butterflies that's right we move in motion and could you keep up with us do you want to reap what's inside of us we are into the five. We are not rushing and rushing, rotating. There's no need to. 
there's no need to. And we just fly. And filling all that is created of our colors. Like the peacock. Numerous. That is admired. That is to gravitate. To touch. To smell. And say, oh well. Right out at the pond. Where they brush. their wings, the peacock of colors, and they're rising high, they're rising high, that's right, they're rising high, they know where they're going, the peacocks, they interact. Numerous of birds, the ducks, the eagles, and all sources of the butterflies and all of the birds. They all come in into a vast. That's right. You see them moving. They know where they want to go. Because they already have it in mid air. Where they're going. They are not rushing. Even though it may look like they're rushing as they fly in their wings. No, they're not. They're not ever in a hurry. Because this has been their mission from the beginning, from the beginning of time. You can't put a bird in a cage and lock them up. They're not meant to be. So when man capture bait, any sources of insect or birds, they go through a world of vast wind, through a vast wind, because they don't want to be locked in a cage. That's right, they don't want to be in a cage that is not known to their freedom. They know, they feel, and they feel a freedom of their life that is intended for them. So whenever you see these beautiful insects that is moving in such a vibration, ever rushing the cosmo they have this wellness about them they know how to heal themselves and they know how to be content with their selves let them be free that's right let the nature of colorful birds be free. Don't try to capture anything and do not run after them. There's no need. Just observe. Observe their motions and you be surprised that you will become a part of their nature. Because there's a learning, just like the fish that's in the 
to Mariam and to the ocean, every species that is moving about, the dolphins, that's right, the sea, fish, the octopus, with so many hands, just moving about into the colorful nature, that's right, into their colorful nature. Peace, one love, goodbye now.